Thror is dead. His head lays on the ground outside the east gates of Khazad Doom. And this means war! I expect the seven clans will march to aid the sons of Durin. Exactly. Oh, I see. You wish to leverage this opportunity. Oh, no, you can't mean. Smash the f down and then eat the f. Hmm. Grimbro, I respect your passion, but that was f dark, mate. From hallowed stone, cold, unrelenting, our father's bones, treasures pilfered from our home. While the longbeards avenge a foolish king's folly, our birthrights, once pulled from our grasp, will be returned. Let them try for honour whilst we take ours. Right, so just to clarify, we're going to rob a dwarven hold. Yes. Oh, oh, right. Right. Okay. Okay. Let me clearly, yeah, please, from now on, speak like this. Are we screaming death at inappropriate times? <sighs> Not now, Grimbrol. If we are to make it to Barazin Cool, we will need to fix our weapons, our clothes, and consult the map maker. Are you with me? Oh, yeah, 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 This is the tale of the Doomed Company. Not a mighty host of warriors, but a fellowship bound by a desperate oath. Veterans scarred by past battles, young heirs eager to prove their worth, and a flicker of hope held within their hearts. A battle company for those who wage war on the tabletop, a realm of strategy and heroism has felt the sting of neglect. New tales for the warriors of Middle-earth, whispers fans yearningly, arrive at a glacial pace. Basically, Games Workshop take ages to release supplements. It offers a chance to craft your own saga, to forge a fellowship unlike any other. Here, the fate of a doomed company rests not in the hands of fate, but in yours. Builder. The leader of the doomed company. Mond the Blonde, a surgeon with his axe, foul-tempered, yes, but clever. Ruth Nor, the chaotic rune mage. Dune, the stalwart defender of the doomed company. Fori, a stealthy ranger. Bori, a master archer and ranger and brother of Fori. Grimbrawl the Berserk, an axe-wielding maniac. The following is a possible fate for the doomed company. You may decide to weave a different tale. That I leave to you. Builder, I'm not being funny, mate, but what is that? What? I think he's referring to the spiky ball on the end of your staff. Oh, that. It's a morning star. Hmm, doesn't seem like an appropriate name for it really, does it? Should be called like Kill Sphere or... Spiky Ball Head Smasher? Overkill! Overcompensating as usual. A 5,000. Oh, now I feel sick. Finished? No, really. I mean, it's not very dwarven. Yeah, acceptable dwarven weapons are axes or a warhammer, maybe? Swords. Especially if they're stolen from an elf. It's disgusting. Yes, yes, we all hate and distrust elves. Can we at least start on our journey to Barazinkul now? We have a stop to make on our way. Where did you get the information anyway? Well, it all started in a dark alley. Hello, friend. Tell me, friend, who are you? Whoa, 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 hold your goats. I'm down with Durin. Oh, yeah? Then why the sneakiness? I have information regarding the Nalgrim's Horde. I give it in good faith, but for a price. If I was to trust this to be true, what is your price, stranger? I do not ask for much, just a small share of the price, of course. A, a humble finder's fee, if you will. Hmm. So I said, yes, sure. And then he gave me this map. I'm sure oh, we'll right, come back towards us later. Yeah, to the road then. Onwards they went until the mountains and the hills and the valleys were unrecognizable to them. A mysterious land to the far west. Oh no, it's Wogs. Wogs. 
Let's prepare for battle. All oh, right. Defensive formation, lads. Fuck on a head, you stupid funny. <laughs> Here you may choose to upgrade the Doomed Company, based on the Battle Company's book that I haven't had enough time to read, so sorry about that, I can't really help you here. Here we are, Everwinter Mine. Glorious, isn't she? Mine? More like a rune. You need to make a stealthy approach. Well, obviously. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Of course. Well, let's go and help him then. What I'm currently looking at is absolutely indescribably amazing. I mean, look at that. Well, I mean, where do you begin? Okay, fine. It is pretty cool. See, what did I say? Glorious. Nothing to worry about. Grimbrel, don't no, smash mate. that. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so maybe the ranger isn't to be trusted. We did come out with a treasure, though, so... Every cloud swings and roundabouts. You win some, you lose some. That was terrible. I did get to do that pretty sick magic spell. You blew my ear clean off. Well, you'll have cool scars now, at least. <laughs> Look at Grimbrod, he's having a good time. Yeah. The coast is clear. The gates are unmanned and unlocked. No one in the first hall. A clear path. A bit strange, no? Being completely empty and unguarded. A tad convenient, don't you think? Mond is right. We proceed with extreme caution. What are you looking at me for? I'll cover you all as usual. It's okay to be scared, Bori. <laughs> you always do. <laughs> scared, you know, I just, but, you know, I've got my boy. You know, just, you know, okay, marcher. settle down. Let's take back yeah, our oh, stuff. Oh, 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 great. Barazin Kul, keeper of the now Grimm's Horde. This place gives me the heebie jeebies. You find more cheer in a bowl of Rohir and Maiden stew. Uh, it's certainly more creepy here, is it? Yeah, it's about 25% darker than I'd like it to be, you know, usually, as a rule of thumb. Can you hear that? Oh, no! This doesn't seem right. Hang on a moment. I'll just adjust the fate wheel. Well, what? Oh, Do anyone else feel like... No, never mind. Stop right there. I knew it! Thief! Takes one to know one. See you, you sneaky wee I'll f***ing sun dry your lungs and turn them into a f Waistcoat. That's plenty, Grimbrol. To be fair, we're thieves as well. You know, technically. I'll turn you into a... Uh, Something bad. Exactly. Okay, okay, you got me. I thought you would all die at Everwinter. I'm so glad you made it, though. We can still share the spoils, right? No, definitely it's not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. not. Gonna give you what is wrong with you? No. One thing I don't understand is why you told us about any of this in the first place. Hey! Why didn't you just rob the place yourself? I wanted you all dead. I thought by sending you on a suicidal side mission, you would all perish. As revenge, of course, for it is I, Ethereal! As revenge, it is I, Ethereal! Who? No. Nothing! What? No recollection. Mm. So can we, we kill him now, or what's happening here? Seriously, guys? You can't remember? You got absolutely drunk at my 3004th birthday party and stole my sword! <gasps> oh, for f**k's sake. Wap out the big spells, Lavrush. Uh, uh, <laughs>
A massive thank you for joining us on this epic tale of the Doomed Company here on The Wizard's Brush. This wouldn't have been possible without a legendary collaboration orchestrated by Benji's Hobbies. A toast to these incredible creators who were involved as well. J Max Armies of Middle Earth. Rabtastic Paints, Paints on a 4-Up, Nat1 Videos, and a mighty roar for Rob from Edge of the Wild, who's going to be doing a blog on this as well. Links to all of their videos and the blog are in my description, and a downloadable PDF of all of the profiles. A special thanks to JMac for letting me know about the collaboration in the first place, and of course to Benji for having me on this epic adventure. A round of applause to all of the collaborators who gave the Doomed Company life by voicing the characters, with a special shout out to Zorpazorp for the chilling and undeniably hilarious portrayal of Ethereal. And speaking of near meltdowns, some of you might be curious about the crafting process behind this video. If you'd like to see some of that then please let me know in the comments. And the stop motion was absolutely horrifying to be honest, so I'll, I'll relax and do some stop motion and not as much crafting. Idiot.